So the Super Mysteria. I am uh, not the biggest fan of this plane. It's uh, very frustrating. It doesn't fit my playstyle at all. So I don't want to do a proper review on it for obvious reasons. And I'll just start the game with normal games and have some clips. I'm. Uh, I don't really know how to, where to begin. How much I actually despise this thing. The rudder doesn't function properly. It rips extremely easily. It loses so much speed in a turn. You, you'll see that, uh, like throughout the video, you'll see it quite often. Just how bad the retention is. And the moment you get up the air versus F100s, MiG-19s, for some reason they really like to focus you. They really do. And when you get focused in this thing, with one you can handle. Just one. That's doable, but as soon as the second one comes in, you're pretty much done. Like, there's very little you can do. You, you dump so much speed that by dodging the first one, by the second, by the time that the second dude comes in, you're already going so slow that you pretty much just die. On the screen, you see me just... The redeeming factor of this plane. The missiles. The AA-20 Nords. The wire-guided. They have a massive proximity fuse. And a, an actual joy to play. That's the only reason I like this plane, even in the slightest, it's because of these missiles. These missiles make the plane fun, but the rest of the plane is just... Wars cannot describe how much I despise this thing. I don't think I've played a thing this bad in a while. Like, I prefer the old F-100. It just... It loses more speed than the F-100 did. See, that's a, the old F-100, with a bit less thrust. More maneuverable. But... Being more maneuverable also means that you dump more speed. So you have to micromanage every turn, you have to... It's it's not fun, in my opinion. Of course, if you do like this, like Razor does, he loves this thing. All power to him. But it just doesn't fit my playstyle. And what's when something doesn't fit my playstyle in the slightest. And it's fr as frustrating as this thing is to fly. Because I just came out of a session and I just died three games in a row without killing anyone again, which is, it's frustrating. And this plane is definitely not noob friendly. I got a few good clips, I got a few kills, like this is the only game that I thought was worth showing, which is why I will show you it. I, I can't really... You can probably hear how frustrated I am at this thing, but... If you like this thing, by all means, if you're looking for a challenge, get it. And the missiles are definitely fun. They're one of a kind. Of course, you are on the R4 G91, but you have to buy that thing, and it's quite expensive. If I ever get that thing, I'll never touch this thing again. That that's that's what I'm feeling right now. But as a fair fair review, I guess, like a little summary, it rolls well. You cannot nag G because you'll rip. It turns well, but it loses all its energy. The rudder is horrible. You can see a bit later as well, when I'm dogfighting someone, how the, the nose just kind of... <sighs> balances. It's like you don't have wings, and you're trying to balance like a, st a pointy stick on the ground, and it just wobbles about, and you're trying to, to tap it over with your hands. I'm not too sure if I'm too descriptive here, but you're going to see it with this MiG-15 over here. Just how weird... It feels. It, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel natural. This plane is completely broken in the flight model department. And you can see my speed. It just... It dumps. Like, the only reason I killed this dude... Like, I'm, I'm trying to flip over here. And it, it just won't. Luckily, he didn't try to dodge it. I nick his wing off. The guns are still great. They are death fast. They pack a real punch. But again, the bottom mounted. The brother doesn't work. You rip extremely easily. So when people go defensive, you can't really follow... And the guns aren't the fastest, and all these things combined makes it pretty difficult to kill people with these guns. And if you have to rely on your missiles, and people are getting more and more aware, especially after I release this video, a good a good portion of people will, will see this, and they know that the missile will come off the rails, it will track them, it will blow them up. And it will look out for it, which is... Pretty much going to be the counter to the only redeeming factor of this plane. 
So I don't really know what to begin. I don't want to make a video that's full of negativity. That's just bashing on this game. But this plane, like I'm not saying this as I'm, because I'm salty. Well, I, I kind of am. But I'm not saying this because of it. And I'm not saying this because I can't fly this thing. Sure, I suck dick with it. Don't get me wrong. The missiles are good fun though. I suck dick with it. But a big portion of that is also because of how the, the flight model works. Like the combination of all these things. You don't have acceleration. And you lose all your speed really fast. And when you're not the fastest jet in the game. And you can't really work with that. Of course in the down tiers. Versus only F sabers. Versus only MiG 17s. You can work around that. But MiG 19s and F 100s especially. They will park on your 6. And they will not let go. And the biggest problem is at higher speeds. Even the F 100 outturns you. The F100 outturns you, the MiG-19s can just keep going up. They don't have to worry about a single thing. Of course, you, you, you dump so much speed that it's like flying a plane with an air breakout. It feels a bit like an A5 with an air breakout. As Razor describes it, and he has 700 kills in it by now. So, you know, he knows what he's talking about. But, <sighs> I don't know where to start. I really don't. And that's pretty much game. I, I pretty much ranted all over all of it. But I wanted this at least one game in it. And I needed a rant about it. Because I need to, to show you how painful this plane is. Of course I'm not going to show you all these deaths I'm getting. I'm not going to show you me getting focused. Me getting killed by a missile that doesn't render in. And me just ripping. And all that kind of shit. That's, that's not what I'm going to show you. Instead I'm going to show you MiG-19 for example. This one. Look at my speed. I'm going quite fast. I have to shake it. I lose all my speed doing so. I have to get in like these tight things. And then when I try to get a shot. And just my speed just whoop, disappears. I pretty much have to kill him here. If I don't. The whole team is on me. Like that's something. I don't know what it is with this plane. I'm not sure if it's because it's me. Because it's the Mystere. Because people think it's an easy kill. A nice AA. Or that people just think. I have to kill him. <laughs> And people just go head on and you have to dodge them and it's it's annoying. But to the gameplay. Enough of that. So I got the MiG-19 on me. Priority is dodging him. Problem is he's gonna boom a zoomy and he will keep all his energy doing that. And there comes the second one. And they're running a train on me now. And this is this is literally the only time I survived it. Just partially luck, don't get me wrong. Sure, I got a few good shots, and I got a bit lucky. But, I'm just gonna show you that even when you do survive it, how much of a struggle it is. This is the best case scenario of a, like, a bad scenario. I just pull into the MiG-17 so he can't get his guns on. Of course, that's very risky, because lately people manage to shoot like 20 degrees above their nose for some reason. Because of the netcode. So it's very risky. And right now, MiG-19 is going to pull right in my guns. I don't know why he's not dodging, but I'll take it. And now I'm going 400, which is a problem. So I want to get at least some of my speed up. I want to move as little bit as possible. Because every little movement drains all of my speed. And this was uh, pretty lucky, I'm not going to lie. He probably, if he had used flaps, I would have been dead. And he rolls into my guns. And I one shot him. Shoot his tail off, try to keyboard him, but I'm going 170. He builds luckily though. Then I try to land, because I have to go RTB now. And the other MiG-19s luckily left me alone, which is uh, a nice surprise to say the least. So I'm going back to the base. So after a bit I'm going to take off. It's uh, 2v3 right now. And I'm feeling confident. I'm like, this is going to be the game that I'm going to carry in. It's gonna be a very nice game. I see on my radar. Oh, missile has been launched, going 400, and I, yeah. <laughs> you know, you can't have it all. I was I was hoping it was gonna happen, but unfortunately it didn't. This is a scenario you will see rather often. F100s, they uh, outturn me at high speed, they outgun me, they keep more energy, better controllability, easy to use guns. Good rudder. You're starting to see why it's a problem to get these things off me. Of course, this one barely overshot me. And he used his air brake. And that's why 
he's only going a little bit faster. If he had just stuck on me, and if I didn't get lucky in that second turn where he almost gunned me down, then this would have been very hairy. Because the F100s, they are very, very hard to take off you. And the problem also is that they have four missiles, and they will shoot all four of them at you, because, well, I don't know why, they just feel like that. They shoot one missile at you, you lose 200 kph, they shoot another missile at you, you lose another 200, then they shoot a third and a fourth, and you lose another 200. In between I'm accelerating a little bit, but when he's finally within his gun range, like this, like within a kilometer, and suddenly I'm only going 6-700, and he has a very easy time killing me. And if I try to dodge his guns as well, going at that speed, it will dump even more speed, and all he has to do right then is just go up. The F100 is, uh, and the MiG-19, T2 probably as well, but I haven't fought that, as well as the CL-13B, I, I don't want to even imagine how it is to fight that thing. And here we have it, the redeeming part of this plane, missiles. Of course they crit here and there, but mostly when you do get only a crit, uh, yeah, they aren't recovering. The missiles hit very hard, they hit very very hard, and they're pretty easy to use. In my opinion, of course, I have a lot of experience with these kinds of missiles from uh, Battlefield 3. There's only one problem with these missiles, however. And, uh, the camera. So you're really busy missiling people, like that. Nothing going on, it's all fine. And I see the F F100 over here, and he's rather close, but I think, ah, I can missile him. So, I blow him up, but he only blows up at 1.3, I try to dodge him, and he kills me. I was so busy trying to guide the missile that I just forgot about him being able to shoot. But, with all of that aside, uh, I would like to know your input. What do you think about this plane? Do you think this is the right way to balance it? Put it at a low BR with a garbage flight model, or do you rather have it like at 9.3, 9.7, but in a way where it can actually fight stuff? Because I think right now it, it could be a very enjoyable plane. It's just kinda... kinda sad, especially it's just a retention. If this retention would be fixed, then the rudder would be workable. Of course, maybe make it rip a little bit less. Like, those little things would really improve this plane. And this is the, the crown jewel of of the French. Imagine grinding through all of the French planes. Because these planes aren't aren't great to begin with. Imagine grinding through all these shit planes just to end up with another mediocre one. And I think that's even unfair. I, I'm probably not going to fly this thing anymore, even though I like the missiles. It's... It's not worth it to me, it's so frustrating for me. But that's also because I'm, well, it doesn't fit me. So do keep that in mind. But, just uh, you can just watch the, the dogfight till the end, but I do have a little... And the thing that I want to talk about is my microphone. So, I stopped filtering it, which you can uh, probably hear pretty well. And, the filtering, it takes me a lot of time. The, setting the mic up because if I put it a bit to the left you won't hear me if I put it a bit to the right you'll constantly hear me blowing into the microphone or it's too loud or too, too distorted so I have to have it in a very specific place and this is very tedious and I can hear my mic dying sometimes sometimes it cuts out sometimes it it stops working for a few minutes and I want to keep making these videos because I, I do think that people appreciate them and people like to watch them and and that's something I want to keep doing, just just for all of you. Then the only problem with this is that the moment my microphone cuts out, that I won't be able to to do these videos anymore. Uh, I might do some commentary. I might go back to the, with the text that is, and I might go back to the the stuff like the montages or the the ones with just music. But I don't think that's adequate because I can't really relay everything I want to say, and it, it's it's a bit. It it really is. And of course, I just want to know your opinion on it, because I don't really know what to do with this. I'd like some uh, some feedback, maybe maybe you do prefer the text, maybe you do prefer montages, or just uh, the compilations with like the highlights of a plane. Uh, I'd like to discuss this, and I just don't know where to start. I just hope that this mic uh, keeps going for a while, because I won't be able to afford a new one in uh, any near future. Uh, without further ado, I'll, uh, I'll see you in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.